Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to an Earth observation satellite called NISAR, NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. Consider the following statements. 1. NISAR has been built by space agencies of the US and India under a partnership agreement signed in 2014. To it consists of both L-band and S-band synthetic aperture radar sir, instruments, which makes it a dual-frequency imaging radar satellite. 3. ISRO will use NISAR for a variety of purposes including agricultural mapping and monitoring of glaciers in the Himalayas, landslide-prone areas, and changes in the coastline. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is C. Once launched into space, NISAR will observe subtle changes in Earth's surfaces, helping researchers better understand the causes and consequences of such phenomena. It will spot warning signs of natural disasters, such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes and landslides. The satellite will also measure groundwater levels, track flow rates of glaciers and ice sheets, and monitor the planet's forest and agricultural regions, which can improve our understanding of carbon exchange. ISRO will use NISAR for a variety of purposes including agricultural mapping and monitoring of glaciers in the Himalayas, landslide-prone areas, and changes in the coastline. Question to consider the following statements about Marine Protected Areas MPA. One countries set a target of protecting 50% of the planet's lands and oceans by 2030 at the 15th Conference of the Parties COP15 to the Convention on Biological Diversity CBD, held in 2022. To currently, Marine Protected Areas MPA, represents only about 6% of the ocean. Three fully protected areas prevent extractive or destructive activities, while highly protected MPAs allow light extractive activities. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is D. Countries set a target of protecting 30% of the planet's lands and oceans by 2030 at the 15th Conference of the Parties COP15, to the Convention on Biological Diversity CBD, held in 2022. Currently, MPAs represent only about 6% of the ocean. Of this, 2.4% are fully and highly protected and 3.6% are highly protected. The remaining 0.8% are designated and 2% have been proposed and committed. Question 3 Consider the following statements about National Council of Applied Economic Researches NCA. 1. It is India's oldest and largest independent, non-profit, economic policy research think tank. 2. Established in Mumbai in 1956. 3. NCA was started as a public-private partnership, both catering to and funded by the government and private industry. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. Answer is B. Established in New Delhi in 1956. Question 4 with reference to CAR T-cell therapy, consider the following statements. 1. AM form of therapy in which the immune system's T-cells, a particular type, are altered in a lab so they will target cancer cells, is administered to patients. To the chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, is the name of the unique receptor. Three certain blood malignancies are treated using CAR T-cell therapy and additional cancer types are also being explored for treatment with it. 
Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. One and three only. C. One, two and three. D. Two and three only. Answer is C. T cell therapy is also known as chimeric antigen receptor treatment. Question 5 Consider the following statements about quick reaction surface to air missiles, Krasam. 1. It is a missile developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Bharat Electronics Limited, and Bharat Dynamics Limited for the Indian Navy. 2. It is meant for protecting moving armored columns from aerial attacks. 3. The Krasam is designed to operate on the move with search and track capability and fire on a short haul. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is D. It is a missile developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Bharat Electronics Limited, and Bharat Dynamics Limited for the Indian Army. The Army has two regiments of the indigenous Akash Sam also at a range of 25 kilometers and along with the Krasam Falls in the short range Sams. Question 6 Consider the following statements about Mission Amrit Sarovar. 1. The mission is aimed at developing and rejuvenating 75 water bodies in each district of the country. 2. The mission Amrit Sarovar is to be completed by 15 August 2025. 3. Jan Bhagidari has been the core of this mission and involves people's participation at all levels. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1. Only B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. Answer is B. The mission Amrit Sarovar is to be completed by 15th August 2023. The mission works through the states and districts through refocusing of various schemes such as Mahatma Gandhi NREGS, 15 Finance Commission Grants, PMKSY sub-schemes such as Watershed Development Component, Har Khet Ko Pani besides states' own schemes. It may also be mentioned that the mission encourages mobilization of citizen and non-government resources for supplementing these efforts. Question 7 with reference to Operation Dost, consider the following statements. 1. Mass Level Rescue Operation Two initiated by the government of India to aid Lebanon and Turkey. Three conducted after recent violent earthquakes hit both countries. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One and two only. B. One and three only. C. One, two and three. D. Three only. Answer is B. Initiated by the Government of India to aid Syria and Turkey. Question 8. Consider the following statements about kelps. 1. Kelps cover 25% of the world's coastlines and provide food and shelter for fish, invertebrates, and marine mammal species. 2. Kelps are increasingly threatened by climate change, eutrophication, and shoreline development, among other human-induced stressors. 3. Kelps offer crucial services such as carbon sequestration and erosion control. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is C. Kelps cover 25% of the world's coastlines and provide food and shelter for fish invertebrates and marine mammal species. They also offer crucial services such as carbon sequestration and erosion control. But kelps are increasingly threatened by climate change, eutrophication and shoreline development among other human-induced stressors. One such threat is from bryozoa, moss animals that grow as mats on kelps. They drive the seaweed to sink into the seafloor and disintegrate. 
Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.